Hello everybody, CW here. Back to the range. Let's try this 454. Sling off here because we don't need that. A couple of shells in here. Got the dot mounted. We're ready to go. Very first shell, we're going to put a lead. At least 300 grain or through it. No idea where it's going to hit. Just threw the dot on. So hopefully we'll be close to on target. We'll see what happens. Frankie. This isn't a heavy lead. Frankie. Yep. Look at the bottom one below the one on the shot. Yep. Oh, yeah. To hit the paper. Okay, we're on the paper. Woohoo! Gotta get a screwdriver. We are. I only get it in video form. <laughs> a little bit high and way, way left. So let's bring it to the right. Let's start out. No idea how far that's gonna move things. So we'll just do that. With that, with that charge. <laughs> we hit the bullseye. We hit the bullseye. Well, let's leave it there. Try another one. Right next to it. It's gonna be that easy, that's gonna be scary. I'm gonna bring it up just a tiny bit because it is a little bit low. Just a little. All right, another one. Just above it. It's still a whisker to the left. So we'll bring it just, just a skosh more. Just a little bit. Ah, this has been the quickest sighted. Two shots and basically it was sighted in. Just fine tuning here. doesn't want to move to the right, he wants to move around. So let's move it a lot. This fucking thing shoots, Frankie. And then bring it back. Sometimes that'll make things work better. Recoil isn't bad at all. I'll shoot one over the chronograph here. See what I get a speed. Let's do that right now. Hundred. About what I expected. 
not a hot load by any means. Three hundred grain bullet, fourteen hundred feet per second. Can go a whole lot hotter for sure. It's about an inch high. That's maybe about where it should be. Maybe a, maybe a whisker higher. Hmm, let's see how a 300 grain RCBS does. I bumped that up and it went way to the right. I'm gonna have to play with this a little. It, it holds zero, but it seems to be a little wonky. It seems to be a little wonky uh, with its adjustment. I'm not too, not too keen on that. Not too keen on that. Let's try one of these 325 grainers. Ah, it made a big hole. Also, it's perfect again. So let's see. Just a little bit dim. Turn it up a click. All right, there we go. So maybe I have something going on with that sight, but right now it's printing dead center, inch and a half high, which is all I can ask for at 50 yards. All right, here's our range. Here's our target rather. So here was the very first shot. I mounted the dot, very first shot aiming here. Moved it over, got into one of these. Then I adjusted it, it went down adjusted it, went too high, came back. That was the last shot out of the group. And then we tried two of those RCBS bullets and they hit over here, aiming here. I don't know what happened, but I adjusted it back and there's the last shot. So I need to shoot some more, it was getting warm, but that's perfect. This is 50 yards. TW, ow! Haha, <laughs> you thought I was done. I shot a little bit more. Shot a couple different bullets and a couple different loads. All 454. Here is, this is the Lee 300 grain with 2400. This is the RCBS 300. And this is the Lyman 325. All the same load with 2400. Here was some sight in fooling around with different loads. But that's you know, that's pretty good. There's two bullets there, one bullet there, one bullet there. So that's that's just over an inch. There's four there, just over an inch. There's probably two inches. All these are good. You know, remember it's just a red dot. Um, I can adjust the impact, but you know the grouping is what we're after. So there we go. I'm really happy with this gun. It shoots really good. Trigger's pretty good, action is super smooth, and it's shooting pretty accurate with 
pretty much everything I've shot in it so far. So I'm pretty happy. I unfortunately forgot my jacket and bullet loads. So this is all cast. So even better. God bless everybody. CW out.